not, or whether you're going to stick to your, your proposals, which are your proposals. That's all I'm asking. Sir. My proposal is recovery and treatment. Am I going to give more money to these agencies that have caused the crisis? No. They're not going to get any more money. They've caused the mayhem. Have you been around the... Have you seen the tent cities? I've lived in this very neighborhood for eight years. Have you seen the tent cities? Okay, and you think that these agencies are doing a good job? I think there's... Sir, it's my, not my job to be the federal leader on this issue, sir. I'm asking you a question. Are you think they're doing a good job when you go to see the tent cities that are popping up everywhere in the country? I agree with you on that. The community, but the, the agencies are different than the community. And again, you're repeating their talking points. I mean, there was a time when reporters believed their job was to hold government accountable, not regurgitate their talking points. And that's what you're doing when you say safe supply. It's heroin-grade opioids that they're, they want to give out. And it is being diverted to kids. It's not safe. Since this policy was enacted, we have seen overdose rates more than double across Canada. And where these policies have been most enthusiastically embraced, like British Columbia, it's 400%. I don't understand how the media goes to the same agencies and public health bureaucrats who helped cause the crisis and calls them the experts when in fact the results of their policies are plain for all eyes to see. There's 256, 256 homeless encampments in Toronto now. 50 of them have opened up in three months alone. Like, the 25% the of Canadians are living in poverty. We've had 40,000 people die of drug overdoses. The approach that we're taking, that the, the NDP Liberals and the bureaucracies that they employ are taking is only making things worse. I will be taking that money and giving it to treatment and recovery services, not more drugs. Frankly, these NDP liberal bureaucrats and activists who have been sucking up all the money are responsible for the crisis. We saw in BC, the public health authority there wants to make drugs available in corner stores, everywhere. They want to have something called compassion clubs where the government would give drugs out for people, to, to, to drug distributors who would wander around giving them out freely to anybody who wants them. This is why we're in the mess. We need a drastic departure from the nightmare that the radical, wacko, NDP liberal agenda has caused in our streets. We need to lock up hardened criminals. We need treatment and recovery. We need to ban hard drugs. We need to bring our loved ones home drug free. Thank you.